parents in Tembisa have threatened to take the law into their own hands following several cases of rapes of children at a local primary school. Now, in the latest, a five-year-old girl had allegedly been raped by a security guard at the school. Members of the community are hoping to meet local police and the Department of Education following the rape incident. The girl's family is alleged, uh, alleging that these suspects are threatening to harm them. They say they are frustrated by a lack of action on incidents of rape of children at school. The man was arrested this week and the protesters are demanding that the principal of the school be axed for not taking any action. My child came back from school not being able to walk. She arrived home and fell on me. She said that she fell at school and hurt herself. I took her inside the house and checked her. I then found blood all over her private part. I asked her how she fell. She said that she was hurt by a big boy at school in the toilet. She said that he laid her down and took off her clothes and laid on top of her and hurt her. I was very disappointed to learn that the child was raped and it took the whole month for something to be done about it. We were told to wait for the schools to reopen. All I wish for as the child's grandmother is for the Department of Education to interfere in this matter because the child is now traumatized. Devastating consequences, um, both for the child and obviously the family as well. Um, but especially for the, the child, um, it affects the belief systems on a deeper level for the rest of its life. And it gets imprinted with a lot of confusion as how to trust role models. Because um, adults are seen as safety figures for a child, especially a security guard, and then to be abused confuses the individual where they start associating love and pain going together.